Thank you, sir. What, what is this, sir? Uh, heckling? What is heckling? She's not. What is this? I haven't even started. Sir, what is I don't this even here? understand. I know. What is this? Sir, what is this? Sir, what is this? Sir, what is this? Sir, what is this? What is the point of saying this? What is 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 Sir, I stand here and I'm happy to be speaking about the Women's Reservation Bill and it is one of the very few bills I think most of us would agree on. And we thought this bill will be passed with all of us supporting each other and standing together. But unfortunately, the BJP has taken this also as an opportunity for politicking and it is very unfortunate. I am just reminded of what Periyar said when I see the BJP uh, uh, speaking here and heckling us that the pretense of men that they respect women and that they strive for their freedom is only a ruse to deceive them. I'd like to quote the former Chilean president, Michel Bachelet. A better democracy is a democracy where women do not only have the right to vote and to elect, but to be elected. In 1990, after the Montego Clemsford reforms were passed, we got the rights to vote, especially in the Madras presidency and the Bombay presidency. The Justice Party, Nidhi Kachi, passed a resolution on 10th May 1921 to grant voting rights for women for the first time in India. In 1927, Tamil Nadu elected its first women legislator in the country, Dr. Murthilakshmi Reddy, who was instrumental in abolishing the Devadasi system. But sir, nearly 100 years after that, we still have not passed the bill.